what is happening? So we're on the uh, coral reef here, and we are kind of done with this. We're about ready to head out. I think there is some more people to battle. But for the most part, we're going to make our way over to the right, and then we head south, which should lead to the new city. Although it doesn't look like... Hold up. Hold up. We did not go over this way. There is, in fact, an item. And it's TM55 for Scald. And that is actually amazing. We... I'm glad I didn't miss that. Okay. Well, let's definitely teach that to our buddy uh, Happy here. Wherever, um... Freaking Scald, if we could find it. TM55. We have a lot of TMs. Should probably do something with those at some point. But Happy is going to definitely be pretty happy about this. We no longer have to have Bubble Beam. And now we can hit him with that hot water and get them burns. So that's fantastic. Starting this episode off with a little uh, little boost to our main boy here. Okay. Um, yeah, so like I said, we're supposed to be going right and then um, down. Although, let's, let's take a look here. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, we just got to go on yonder. Although it seems like this freaking... Place is quite the trap. Damn it. Be stepping on the surfboard and then hopping right back off it. Um, doesn't look like we can go farther right that way, so we gotta go. Damn it, boy! I go back this way, maybe, and then. I did use a super repel, so we're not worried about wild Pokemon. I do only have two of those bad boys left. Sup? Battle me, and I'll help you out. Uh, so this lady does heal us up. We haven't gone this way. I know we did battle those two people up that way, though. But Nurse Ira, uh, she gonna hit us with a K Kalua. What in the hell? Okay, so that's the evolved form of that other thing we've seen. Uh, we're gonna switch out here. I forgot to heal up Happy at the beginning here. I forgot that we were kind of hurting. But uh, we should be good here because she's gonna heal us after. Anyway, this thing has Rapid Spin, which is not really the move you would expect this thing to have. But uh, cool. Weird little flower woman in a dress is now dead so what else you got next you got another one i know completely this is a different thing this is holy shit okay um freaking absolute seaweed monster this is the mother of every tangle you've ever seen i've seen way too much hentai to know where this is going <laughs> well we're able to knock that out and uh that's about it so now she's gonna heal us up which is great because we have been needing to heal did you did you heal me thank you all right so now we can continue. I do only have one more repel left, which is annoying, so we're going to have to kind of freaking avoid wild Pokemon after we use those bad boys up. But actually, there is just an item over here which turns out to be a Hyper Potion. So, where am I supposed to get out of this place, man? Maybe I go... Pretty sure I go this way. We're going to hold off on using another one because... Wait, yeah, we have not... Is it Misty? Misty's over here. What is up? Long time no see. Been a couple episodes. Oh, and there's some shit going on with some evil people. Misty ain't gonna let this fly. It's too hating. Good thing you came. Yeah, I'm always here for the rescue. These creeps calling themselves Team Solar are attacking this innocent Corrine. Don't mess with us, redhead. What's your little friend gonna do, huh? This Corrine is coming with us. Once it shed its valuable coral flowers, we'll sell them for a high price. We did find out last episode when we caught one of those that apparently people sell these fucking things, but it takes forever to grow back. Overall, just cruel. So, we're going to team up with Misty. And this is amazing. Alright. They actually have six Pokemon. They have a Cabalta and a Fiant, which are both some scary-ass Pokemon. Okay. Um, so, we have Happy out here. Yo, that Cabalta is going to be a problem. So, I'm going to switch my ass out of here, and we're going to go probably right into... Marvin seems like the safest bet. We don't want to risk Happy. Look at Why is the text all small? <laughs> What's going on here? I can't read it. What is this text for ants? I think just use flame burst. I don't. I can't. Okay, scary face. That's what that was. All right. Um. Can't read what the hell this says. It is super effective though. So okay. Ouch. We should probably. Yo, what the fuck? What is? What is going on here? Just basically mashing A and stuff's happening. Parasy's hitting everything. It hit me too. Okay. Well. Now we're just going to go right for a Psyshock. Um, actually, we should attack the Fi Ant. Because that thing probably has a really strong bug move it can hit us with. Although it just goes for another fire move on the Parasy, which is fine. It is able to live it though. And then they just finish it off. Why you got to bully my girl Misty like that? Rude as hell. Okay, Psyshock doesn't even knock out the Fi Ant. What? Okay, so now she sends out her Angelite. And I really don't want to take a bug move from this thing. 
That does not sound like the business. Um, I really hope they don't both attack me. You know, let's just stay in here. Let's go for a, uh, let's just heal up here. We'll go for a super potion. He's up our last super. I think that we could live at least one attack if this thing does decide to go for like a signal beam or whatever the hell those things do. Attacking the Cabalta, doing absolutely nothing. And it does kill the Fiant too. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Angelite. I owe you my fucking life. Misty got rid of her Kanto Mons, but she's coming through with that Angelite. I still can't read the damn text. This seems like a glitch that has happened before. I think it's only double battles, but quite strange. We do need to kill this damn Cabalta because that thing's scary. And hey, there's a Humzap. We have not seen one of those things before. Um, let's go for a... We should probably just knock this damn Cabalta out. Seems like it's definitely a threat to Misty's Mons. This thing's raising some evasiveness. Like, what the hell? Okay. So we do take out the Cabalta. See you later, Snake. I miss you. Please let me have you back. Okay, so this thing's over here. It's got speed boost. I can read that. And next is a Scorpionova. <laughs> oh my god. So that is the evolved form of that one Scorpion Mon that I did have a while back, uh, which is pretty damn awesome. It would have been great to see that thing evolve, but unfortunately, I killed it as a baby, so you hate to see it. Um, so Humzap here, I assume, is just neutral to electric attacks. This thing's got so much evasiveness, though, I don't even know if we're going to be able to fucking hit it. Uh, this thing's over here going for dual attacking moves, and it does burn the Angelite, which is annoying. I wonder what else Misty has. Did it show us how many Pokemon she has? We were able to land the Lightning Strike. Doesn't quite knock out the Humzap, but that's okay. Fucking feeling like a damn VGC player out here. Although I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, one more lightning strike on the Humzap. We're not really afraid of the Scorpion Nova, I don't think. I think it's a it's a ground fire type, I believe. So we can't... Oh, that's actually... We are afraid of that if it's ground fire. But she hits it with a water move and that's just going to knock it out. That could have been bad. I think, I think it was ground fire. I don't... Was it changed when it evolves? I don't know. Well, the Humzap goes down as well. We out here double teaming y'all. Misty's pissed off about her bicycle, and she is not going to rest until every <laughs> Team Solar and Lunar people are dead. Alright, now we got a D-Rash and a Blitz Glow. Um, I think we're okay to just go for another Lightning Strike on the Blitz Glow, probably, and we'll see what happens here. Misty's Angelite's probably going to die here pretty soon. Um, gets a super effective and confusion there, nice. Really wish I could read this freaking text. Flame wheel, nice. Confused and hit yourself. Damn it. Does break through, hits the angelite with an electric attack, and it goes down. We really need Misty to kind of hang in here because we can't do this by ourselves. Please have another Pokemon, Misty. That would be great. We knock out the Blitz Glow. Blitzy Glow. Sorry. And we do grow to level 43 there, which is nice. Oh, she does have another Mon, and it's a Seagic. Seagic. That thing is pretty badass looking. We have not seen one of those before either. We're seeing all sorts of new shit. We're gonna eliminate up on Marvin. Just to ensure that we don't let him die because we freaking love Marvin. We do have a lot of new Pokemon to add to the squad. Um, once we kind of get out of this area, once we eventually get into the new city, we've caught so much shit last time. Oh, but we did it. You fools. You should know better than anyone to mess with us. Let's get out of here. Our mission is over. The Sea Temple isn't in this location. Flash. Ooh, they're just going flash out of here, okay? Interesting. I'm freaking blind now, but they leave behind the little the little quarrying lad. A little shaken up, but it seems to be okay. And it just goes ahead and hops in the water. It leaves behind a Pokeball, though. Must have a thank you gift. It's a coral flower. This is what those creepy Team Solar guys are after. Coral flowers are very valuable. Nice, let me have it. They can sell for a high price. Also, water and rock type Pokemon are somehow affected by them. Uh, somehow makes their attacks a lot more powerful. You should take it with you. It might come in handy. Ooh. Found ourselves a coral flower, so we could either sell it or use it. Might be better to use. Well, thanks for helping me. I was just here to see the reef and the kinds of Pokemon found here. There are so many. It's so cool. Anyway, I should get back to Wade Tide City, helping out at the aquarium. See you later, Misty. It's always cool to see uh, a little Misty cameo. All right. Uh, let's take a look at this flower and kind of see what the hell we got going here. Um, if we could ever scroll to the bottom of this endless bag. I wonder how much you could sell it for. Probably quite a bit, but it seems better. Okay, uh, powers up water and rock type moves. I'm not sure how much it powers them up. Might be good to use for... I mean, now that we got Scald with Happy, we could be doing some serious damage. 
Uh, we just have the Mystic Water on for now. Maybe we switch that out with the Mystic Water just to kind of... Just to see. We will give that to you. Fuck your Mystic Water. And now our Scald is going to be absolutely melting some hose. Alright. So, now it looks like we just surf from this way to the right. And then we will be well on our way. There is actually a freaking wild Pokemon everywhere, but there's a Pokeball over there. Nice little Porfin. Hey there, buddy. I don't want any trouble. I'm just on my way. Thank you. What do we have here? It is a pee, -pee up Nice. So we have so many valuable items. Look at us. All right, let's hop back in the old water. Can I even go farther right here? It doesn't look like... Hello? I cannot go any farther here. This is annoying. Get me out of this coral reef, man. Maybe I have to go up. Up and right. Um, we are going to go ahead and use up our last... Got to scroll my ass all the way back up to the top. I should have gone down, but I'm, I'm halfway there now. So, you know, whatever. Super repel, where are you at? There we go. Really should have bought some more of these, but you know, shit happens. Okay. Um, nope, okay, we are in the. Go in the right direction. Here we have Route 10B, which is definitely a new route. I don't know why it's A and B. We had route. We had a Pokemon on Route 10A, um, which is on the other side of the reef, but now we're on this side, and we can catch a new Pokemon here if we, we want. I guess there's, unless there's grass, it won't be really too worth it, but. What's up, lady? Swimming is the best to train your body. It really is. Let me know if you guys agree. It seems like after you swim, whatever meal you have is just the... It's so satisfying. You gotta fuck, get yourself a sandwich after swimming. No sandwich has ever tasted better. And freaking jelly nip over here. Um, are you gonna bulldoze you? Because you are poison type. I fucking love jelly nip so much. If I could get a jelly nip to catch, that would be, that would be great. Bulldoze doesn't quite knock you out. And you go for a toxic like a dick. Leave it to the nipple to just poison you. What? Come on, man. Well, one more bulldoze will do it. And I assume we're pretty close to this next city. It doesn't look like it's too far. We are going to grow to level 44 there. Look at us. Happy. The op lad in all the land. Next is another jelly nip. Uh, we'll just stay in on this thing. Can we get a one-hit KO with this bulldoze? Now that we're big and strong, level 44. We sure can with a critical hit. I'm very interested to see what Jelly Nip evolves into, if it even evolves. Just evolves into Jelly Boob. Alright. Um, let's switch it up here. So Happy is 44. Let's go ahead and put Charlotte in front. Or no, let's, let's go with Dracula. Dracula wants some love. Happy got a little bit overleveled there, but that's okay. And we should also probably just use ourselves um, an antidote, which I believe I do still have some from one time I bought a shit ton. Yep, we got seven of these bad boys. Get rid of that poison just in case. And we move right along. So, uh, random ass islands everywhere. I don't understand what the point of this is. Is there anything here for me? Doesn't seem like it. So we just, we just continue. We just had to let Dracula flap the old wings around a little bit. What's up, buddy? You surfing on these sweet waves out here? I love swimming in the ocean. Nice, I, I sure do too, buddy. I sure do too. Swimmer Jim here has got two Pokemon. He always oh, got a gel jelly tick. So this is the male version of Jelly Nip. It should be Jelly Dick, but okay, it's got Freeze Dry. Interesting. That that, uh, that definitely hurts. Good to know that these things carry Freeze Dry. Hot damn. Um, so these things are kind of like Jellison in that there's different colors for the male and female versions, which is actually kind of cool. Probably gonna grow to 43 off of this. Nice. And next is a Dooflap. No idea what a Dooflap is. Oh my god, it's a Dolphin. Dolflap. Dooflap. I fucking love it. Okay, we're actually just going to switch into Marvin here. This thing seems like it could be potentially Ice-type, and that's not good for us. It's going to, uh, you know, it's strongest as Dive, actually. Goes for a U-turn, which, okay, predicts my freaking switch and goes for the bug move on my Psychic-type. That's fine. He's home been practicing his competitive mods. We get a crit, of course. If it's a super effective move, they'll crit you. They're guaranteed every time. But we just crit him right back. So many crits in this game. It's really ridiculous. But Marvin, good job, buddy. No. This guy's dialogue is very in-depth. I like swimming. And then just, no. Uh, then we got this lad here who is uh, chilling on an island with a Pokeball. I don't know if you knew there was some treasure right behind you, buddy. It's a big pearl. You probably should have uh, paid attention to that. Fishing in the ocean is better than rivers and lakes. 
I mean, it kind of is, because you never know what you're going to pull up when you're fishing in the ocean. It's always just kind of like pretty much random. You can fish up anything, man. All right, so we're just going to crunch. The good thing about Dracula is that we are going to get our health back from that bloodthirst, which is great. So we'll just take a bite out of your droopy-ass fin. And yeah, we get a little bit of health at least. One more of these, going to do the trick. And uh, this next city, some shit should probably go down. We've gone, we've been on quite the adventure without being to a city yet. Next is a shrimp it. We've seen shrimp it before, right? Little shrimpy boy? Yeah, we sure have. Uh, we'll acrobatics you. Just because, are you bug type? I mean, shrimps are kind of, yep, okay. That's gonna do it. See you later, shrimpy. All right, you broke my rod. I didn't touch your rod, sir. Don't accuse me of touching your rod. And this super potion is coming in clutch. It's probably just about over, but it's just in time as we're now in Coralite Town. So we have arrived. Freaking, damn, that was actually the perfect super repel. All right. Freaking land ho. And we are now in Coralite Town. This place looks crazy. This lady's got a freaking pink kangaroo. Luckily, I found a way to boost the power of my rub bunnies. Normal type moves. No, it's the bunny thing. Okay. Well, we get a self scarf, scarf from her, so thank you. Boost the power of normal moves. We have a lot of uh, type boosting items. Anyway, let's go to the Poké Center first things first. Oh, and this guy beat us here. We hate this guy. Ah, it's you. You're still behind me. I've healed my Pokémon here because I will train at the Battle Cafe. Have you heard of it? It's a place where people come from all over the Rakota region to battle and train. After my training, I will go to the Coralite Lighthouse. I heard that there is a keeper on the highest floor who is really good at battling. He is the founder of the Pokémon Flying Service, too. Don't think you could beat him. You dick. I will. And then I'll use his flying service for free. Catch you later, loser. Well, that was mean. We are going to heal up here. And so it looks like there's going to be quite a bit to explore in this city, which is fun. Uh, we're going to get a nice little heal. And then we'll go check out what the quests are. We haven't been doing a lot of the quests because they kind of just ask you to catch stuff. We probably get good items from it. But what's up? I'm just looking for a trainer who can show me a special Pokemon. But unfortunately, I forgot its name. The only thing I still know is that it has a Mohican. <laughs> and it's a second stage Pokemon. It can have two different abilities, but I would like to see it with the ability Scrappy. It'd be a perfect Pokemon for a punk like me. Do you have to take over this? Do you like to take? Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. So we'll talk to you as well. How do young trainer? You look like a strong one. I have a special task to ask for. You see, my son, his head is always full of silly ideas. He should take over my farm, but instead of this, he is dreaming about a Pokemon trainer career. He thinks he is the most talented Pokemon trainer out there. Actually, he headed over to Sailport Town to start his journey. Can you battle him and teach him a lesson? So he, sure, I'll teach that dude a lesson. Sounds good. And this old lady's just waiting for some tasks. Hello, you are a young Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Sure am. I was on my way from Sailport Town to Corlite Town. Bought some apples there. A friend of my, friend of my husband. Okay. Didn't realized I didn't realize that my bag had a hole, so I lost all the apples on route 11 and 12. Did you find all them for me and bring them back? Sure, why not? I think I brought about seven of them. Well, this lady can't keep control of her apples. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Poké Center here. We do have um, quite a bit of stuff to do. So, these are all the new mons that we caught last time. We have Chloe, freaking Jaws, Ranja, which is, this thing's badass. And we also have Donna, and then Troll is apparently, this thing looks pretty damn cool, to be honest. Um, it does evolve with an item that we can get at some point, so maybe we'll grab this thing and use it eventually. It should be pretty good. I do like it's typing Dark and Fairy. But for now, we're for sure gonna have to grab Donna. Look at this absolute unit. Mild Nature, Poison Point with Bulldoze, Poison Tail, Steamroller, and Toxic Spikes. Um, so it is definitely, I think, more of a physical attacker. We did get um, Sludge Bomb last time, but yeah, it's more of a physical attacker. We're gonna grab you, and we're gonna replace you with the other shiny we have, which is Monsoon, who is level 41 now, but we're gonna go ahead and box you for a minute. We have a bunch of cool stuff, man. We have Smokey the Bear, the freaking Palm Tree Guy, Crab Blue. I have a shiny Weed Sea and a regular Weed Sea. But uh, then also, I do think I want to grab this thing. Ranja over here is uh, pretty awesome. That is Flame Eater. Restore, restores HP of hit by a fire type move. That's pretty cool. It has Hex, Incinerate, Spite, and Will-O-Wisp. Um, so, that's actually pretty cool. We're going to definitely grab you because you just look, you seem like you'd be useful. Um, unfortunately, we do have to switch something up. I'm probably just going to remove this damn egg. Um, I guess we could come back and hatch these things eventually. I kind of just thought they would have hatched by now, but this thing probably doesn't even say it 
Doesn't seem too close to hatching. It's said that ever since I got it. One of these days, I'm just going to need to run around and hatch them damn things. But I think the team for now is looking pretty damn good. Um, we should probably put the EXP share on one of these things. I think we're going to go with Ranja first. Because you seem really cool. I mean, we also have that shiny, which is awesome. But we'll put the EXP share on you. And we're going to need to grind that thing up quite a bit. So we also need to grind up good Donna. Because Donna does evolve into a pretty cool looking thing too. So, uh, all right. Now let's just kind of explore around Corlite Town. We have this bridge over here. It leads to the lighthouse. Home of the Pokemon Flying Service. So we're going to be able to fly eventually, which is great. There's Bill's Lighthouse in Kanto. The Glitter Lighthouse in Olivine Johto. There's a lighthouse in Slateport Hoenn and Sunny Shores. You know, this guy's like, I know all of the lighthouses. In Driftvale, Unova, uh, Coramine, Kalos, you can find lighthouses. My knowledge of lighthouses is extensive. It seems like it, pal. Okay. What do you say? I like to share my knowledge with young trainers who train flying type Pokemon and help them become the best that they can be. Yes, you have a flying type in your party here. Okay, cool. So we get a sky plate. It's got to show we're a flying type and we can use that as a power up move for flying Pokemon, which is cool. For a power up item. Anyway, we got a granny hanging out. Seems like a cool place to live. This is Coralite Town. It's so peaceful and calm. It's so wonderful living here. Seems like it. So we got the beach. You can go under the bridge thingy. And that kind of just leads to where we came up, so. Is there a gym in this place? I need to, uh, I need to fuck somebody up. Hello? Coralite has some nice sights. Did you visit the lighthouse in the battle cafe? I have not yet, because I know some crazy shit's probably going to go down. We're going to kind of explore a little bit first. Check your trash can, just for good measure. And, uh, I guess we should probably go into lighthou the lighthouse, although we haven't gone down yet at all. Seems like we got some stuff happening over this way. Oh, uh, there's also a house over here. Sup, pal? It's watching a blank screen. I love watching the battles of the Rakuto League on TV. They are impressive. My man is watching Pokemon battles all day. He's such a dreamer. And empty trash. He's watching a blank TV. The f What's going on there? Ooh, look at these people enjoying a nice little afternoon. Have you seen the champion of Rakuto? Strangely, I can't remember his face. I have not. What do we got in here? You know the names of the four best trainers in the Rakota region? They're Rocco, Prudence, Nora, and Rex. Also called the Elite Four. I bet Rex is the dragon guy. Seems like a dragon boy name. Interesting. So we're starting to learn a little bit about the Elite Four and stuff. We got some flowers. Looks beautiful. And I bet you these people give us something or they battle us. Heard there's a tough trainer at the top of the White House. You should have a look. I want to get a Bowel so badly. They're so cute. And if I get one, I can evolve it into one of six different types. Ooh, it sounds like an Eevee, kind of. Have a seat. We will serve you the best cookies and coffee. Hmm. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon Healthia and Pollution? I have not. Healthia is known as the healing Pokemon because of its amazing ability to grow life in the most uninhabitable places, and Pollution is known as the deadly Pokemon because if it touches anything organic, it will poison it, and it will wither away into nothing. So anywhere you see lots of flora and fauna means Healthia has been around there. As for places without any life, it might mean that Pollution has been there. Happy travels. Well, thanks for the info, buddy. That's pretty cool. Wish I could make a copy of myself like my Pokemon, so I would more have more time to spend in the cafe instead of working on my fields. At least you can try this for your Pokemon. And he gives us TM32 for a double team. We're probably not going to ever use that, but, you know, thanks for the gift, buddy. My husband and I came from Green Pint City just to drink coffee. Have you tasted it? I sure have not. Just feel like floating away after drinking a black coffee from Corlite Cafe. May you like your Pokemon to float away? And we get ourselves an air balloon. So, air balloon actually would be a great hold item to give to our electric boy um you can avoid ground moves what do we even have on that thing now marvin what you working with buddy he has the razor claw you know what let's give you that air balloon it just seems like we we get hit with random ground moves pretty often and this will make it nice it does actually pop if someone hits you with a physical attack first or any attack um but then after that i mean before that if you have the balloon intact you can avoid ground moves seems pretty cool for the longest time, I've wanted to take my children to visit the Rainbow Reef, but I'm terribly afraid of... Po okay, that's a bummer. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. You can have some battles indoors. So there are some battles and stuff we could do over that way, which is fun. Not far from here is the Hay Barrel Ranch. There are all sorts of Pokemon there. Came here from Mossy Town and heard that the water was so calm here. Perfect for fishing. Alright. Uh, did I talk to this guy? Once a long time ago, there was a ship that crossed into Rainbow Reef. Lots of the treasure was lost in that shipwreck. No one has found it yet, so it's still out there somewhere. This is one of the reasons why the Corlite Lighthouse was built, so that no ships will ever crash again. Cool. And I'm stuck. Okay, uh, let's go... 
see what's happening over this way. There's just one house and these two people. What's up? So many things that you can do with Pokemon. Battle train, breed, coordinate, rate, groom, and so much more. Great, huh? Cafe here has trainers in it. They come from all across Wakoto, so they have many different Pokemon to see. Well, we're going to have to get ourselves into some of those battles here pretty soon. But we got to check in here. This seems like an important place. Hey there, I'm Coralite Town's famous move tutor in exchange of blue shards. I will teach your Pokemon awesome moves. I don't think I have any blue shards currently, but uh, thank you for that. And all right, so let's take a look at what's going on in the cafe as we just about ran through that fountain. So I bet we have a lot of battles in here. Always on the side of my boyfriend. If you want a double battle, talk to him. Ooh, double battle, huh? All right. Let's get it, Dan. We'll leave Charlotte in front because Charlotte does need some experience too. Granatics are the best. Granatrix? What? Let's see him. We're probably going to see some new Pokemon now too, which is cool. So last... Our youngster Lou and last Chloe have two Pokemon each. They have an Explonade and a D-Rash. So level 37. Um, kind of scary. We're probably just going to go ahead and... Uh, fuck, I forget what Explonade even is, man. Do I Acrobatics it? Do I Crunch it? I'm going to Crunch it. And then also... X-Scissor. I think it's... Is it, what's this thing? Steel-type? This is probably a terrible idea. Yep, yeah, X-Scissor does absolutely nothing. Because you're Steel-type. So Crunch is uh, not very effective either. So that's annoying. Deer Rash gonna go for an agility. That's that's okay. And this thing's gonna metal burst. Um, freaking ouch. So we don't have much for this damn thing. We can actually, I believe, just knock it out here. We have literally no neutral moves against this fucking thing. Oh, he's gonna baton pass the speed boost out to Eclipser. As uh, does this, does this crunch even knock it out? Please. Okay, it does. Thank God. Oh my God, I forgot about the aftermath. All right, that would have been really bad if I <laughs> wasn't prepared for that. Okay, so this Eclipser has a nice little speed boost. I don't remember what type this thing is. Freaking Eclipser, and then oh my God, a barb, barb viral, bar, barb viral. Well then, uh, we don't have anything for barb viral. We're probably gonna need to heal Dracula, dude. I hate these double battles, man. This is where everything goes wrong. We'll give you a lemonade. And then we'll probably have to switch out Charlotte, to be honest. Barb Viral, let's go into, uh, let's go into Happy. Can't go wrong with Happy. Have not seen this Barbie boy yet, but we should be, I think it's Poison Steel. Let me go for a Barrier. Dude, this freaking Contrary activated. It's def <laughs> it went for Barrier with Contrary. So it lowered its defense. And that was hilarious, okay. Well, well, then we'll just give you a crunch, <laughs> and that'll kill you. What the fuck was that? All right, um, so Bulldoze actually works out great here. So Crunch is going to obviously be able to knock that out, because it lowered its defense like a dummy. And perfect. Dracula is trying to learn Draining Kiss. So that's a fairy move. Nice. Um, special attack, which we probably aren't going to teach. It's only 50 power. We already get some health back with Bloodthirst, so I think we're okay with that. And Bulldoze does not affect Dracula, which is great. And that Barb Viral takes a decent amount of damage from that. What is on this thing's face? Some, there's something weird with this Barb Viral, man. Oh, shit, that Metal, Ver metal Burst just a boot killed me. <laughs> oh, my God. Happy. That was dangerous, buddy. All right. Um, so the bar the Deer Rash is back. We are going to go ahead and acrobatics the deer viral, and then we're gonna fucking switch happy the hell out of here. And we're gonna go into Marvin. That metal burst, my god, these things are only level 37. I'm very glad that I'm at the levels I am right now, because shit would have been bad. Okay, acrobatics does uh, end up knocking out the deer ash, thank you. Get ourselves a solid amount of experience, and then another metal burst, which actually fails. So, finally this thing should die, and we'll give you just a, we'll go for a shockwave, how about that? I think this is the last Pokemon, it freaking should be. Obviously not very effective, but it does have freaking iron barbs, of course, don't want to touch this damn thing, but we get some, we get the health right back from Bloodthirst. My god, this is the longest battle ever. Okay, shockwave does knock it out, and sweet Jesus, that double battle was ridiculous. Alright, Happy grew to 45, Marvin 44, trying to learn Bolt Switch. Um, which is a great move, but ordinarily I don't tend to use it too much in Nuzlocke. It actually might be decent. Let's um, 
Let's just get rid of, I mean, it's 70 power. Let's get rid of Shockwave. I think we have that as a TM anyway. We'll go for Volt Switch, why not? And uh, we'll go to 33 on that thing. Cool. Well, that was crazy. What are you doing, bug guy? I was one of your first trainer battles. Can you remember me? Ooh, that's cool. He, uh, he traveled a long way, I see, Sean. What do you got for me, buddy? He has a stick -ut. I think he was one of the dudes with a, with a stick -it or whatever the hell. That's pretty sweet. We'll give you an acrobatics. I don't know if this thing's part fighting type, but it looks like it kind of would be. It just reminds me of Paracross. I don't know. Next is a Fiant. So Dracula is definitely fit for Fiant. His acrobatics should knock this thing out. Only level 36. We good. As long as there's no scary steel types, we're fine. We're at a 45 there, looking nice. Ranja getting all that experience. And a Worm Moon. Um, have we seen Worm Moon before? Oh, yeah, it's the freaking... It's the Evolved Worm. And I think this thing evolves one more time. I don't really remember. I know I... I've seen... I think we've just seen Worm Moon. Okay. One more crunch, go and do it. Punch you right in the... Or crunch you right in the forehead. And that does it. See you later, sir. Ranja's getting all sorts of levels, trying to learn Flame Burst. Okay, so that could be decent. It is 70 base power, also damages the Pokemon next to the target, so. Um, is a little bit better than Incinerate. We're gonna get rid of Spite, though. And also, Will-O-Wisp seems like a really good thing to keep around. We have the TM for that, actually, also. But, uh, all right, what are you, is there another, another double battle here? I wanna battle you. We met in Goldoon Desert, how about another battle? So it seems like we're meeting up with a bunch of people that we had already uh, hung out with before. Orature, he's got one of these damn things, which is probably not good for Dracula. And I meant to heal up Happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we'll be okay here. If you have a rock move, please just have mercy. Okay, it's going to just bide. But these things always tend to go to bide, go for bides, which is great because just two crunches is going to knock you out. And uh, yeah, here's storms of energy for no freaking reason. You land before time looking ass. And you dead. Next is a moose strike. Is that the um freaking cow thing? It's is that the evolved form of that cow thing we caught? Moose strike? I don't think we've seen this before. We're we gonna go into Marvin. As uh takedowns what we're mostly worried about. Okay, so that air balloon. This thing is pretty freaking awesome. So it's a it's a moose, and I think this is the evolved form of the one that we caught. Uh, Lightning Strike doesn't quite knock it out. Goes for an Iron Defense. That's gonna not gonna help you here, buddy. Not gonna help you against my special attacks. So one more strike is gonna knock it out. Yeah, that thing's actually pretty cool. I might even consider using the thing I caught then. Next is a. Uh... Oh oh uh oh. It's a fucking muck. It, it's it's the ground muck. But we have the air balloon still intact, so it can't hit us with a ground. Oh, and it. Is okay, it's dark type. Jesus <laughs> pops my air balloon. Um, I tried to hit it with a psychic move, that was a terrible ass idea. What do we do against you? Let's just go into uh, probably just Dracula seems like the best bet, seeing as freaking happy it was neglected and I forgot to heal him. But it's okay. That body slam, don't paralyze me, please. Okay, the sandstorm kind of hurts, but now we can at least get some health back. Uh, we'll go for a hyper thing? I don't know. Seems like... Yep, that'll do. That'll do just fine. It's two of those bad boys. And your sand muck is... Oh, we flinched him. Ha! You absolute buffoon. One more hyper thing. Gonna do it. And, uh, man, this cafe is just full of freaking trainers. Tell you what. Down you go. And we get ourselves a thousand experience. Nice. Still no chance. Well, guys... I'm going to go back and heal. We're going to end the episode here. We should probably finish up the cafe and then next episode see what's going on in that lighthouse. But first, we got to pick up a super repel from Dracula. Thank you, buddy. All right. Thank you guys so much for wa for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.